So that's it. Uh, so remember, we started the story about John and uh, Amy. Yes. You yeah. remember where where, yes. where they met each other? Yeah. In, in, in the video shop. Video uh, store. Yeah, they they met each other at the video store, and now we're going to episode two. Amy has a crush. Hmm? What does it mean? Oh. Amy has a crush. Don't know. Uh, she, she likes someone. She loves someone. What's crush? What is crush? When you have a crush on someone, what does it mean? Problem? No. No. You, you love someone. Very strong. You're... Yeah, when you like you somebody like very, someone. very much. Oh, oh, loving yeah. somebody. Oh. When you love someone or you like someone very much. <laughs> is you have a crush okay oh, so in oh, this episode oh, amy tells her best friend sarah about her new crush okay so sarah asked amy to describe john okay so we are two two friends two best friends mm -hmm. are just talking about the boy amy has met recently okay hello sir. uh hello hi Arizona. how are you today Fine, thank you. Right. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. All right. Hello, Melissa. How are you today? Good. How are you? Um, I'm fabulous. Okay, let's go to the first part, vocabulary. Um, you can see the vocabs, and we have to match them with the definitions. The first question is, a very anxious person. So which one do you think is it? It is have a crush, hot, where on F, easy on the eyes, nervous wreck. Nervous wreck. Yeah. So a nervous wreck is a very anxious person. Okay? <clears throat> when someone is anxious. And uh, you usually those people who cannot talk well uh, in front of others, they are a nervous wreck. Okay, so pronunciation, second, nervous wreck. Pardon? Pronunciation. Nervous wreck. Yes, W is not pronounced. Okay. Nervous wreck. The second one is very good looking or sexy. Hot. hot. Yeah, hot. When someone is hot, it means that they are sexy. Handsome. Say, yeah. Madonna. Beautiful. Yeah, someone is a beautiful person. Yeah, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Usually, both men and women, we can say he's hot or she's hot. Oh. He's very good looking or sexy. The third one is good looking. Easy on the eyes. Easy on the eyes, Easy on the eyes. yes. Easy on the eye means someone who is good looking. The next question is where stated with surprise. Uh, where on the earth? earth? We are exactly. on earth. Exactly. Can you give me a, a question with where on earth? Where on the earth? For example, you ask where on earth did you buy that car? <coughs> where on earth did you find that that person or that book? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can use where on earth to show yeah. your surprise that you are, you are you're expressing that you are quite surprised of what you are uh, you have found. Okay. So, um, I have a question. This is ex this expression we can use as an exaggerate something. Where on earth you mean? Yes. For example, if uh, someone find. Um, an amazing perfume, mm -hmm. and I said, "Where on the air? When on earth you find this perfume?" I where guess. on earth did you find this perfume? Yeah, it shows surprise. Okay. You don't know where she has found it. You're surprised that she has been able to find that kind of perfume in right. any store. It's, it, uh, it's uh, maybe um, 
uh, negative meaning too? Mm. No, it's positive. It is positive. Only uh, positive? If, if yes, if you are angry with something or you, if you don't like something, usually you say, where the hell? For example, where the hell have you been? Ah, okay. Or where the heck have you been? Hmm? Where the hell or where the heck? They show uh, disgust. They show uh, your anger. Okay, when you're angry about something. But then you're surprised, you say, where, the, where on earth have you found that car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the last one is uh, to like someone romantically. Crush. Crush. You have a crash. crush on someone. Have wow. you ever had any crush on anyone? My sister. You have a uh, crush on your sister? Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah okay. most of our, our students, they make mistake for choosing us. What do you mean by that? Then this expression doesn't very look like to someone. No, 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 it doesn't mean look no. like. It means when you like no. someone. For example, you meet a new person, oh, no, you, no, meet, no. you meet a new guy or a new lady. And uh, oh, yeah. you have a crush on him. I thought this is you like, like to have some romantic relationship with him or with her. No, no. Have you have ever had a Sorry, crush I on anyone? Mistake. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Because yeah, you're married. Most of you are married, and uh, <laughs> of course, you had a crush on your wives or husbands, didn't you? I thought this is look like somebody. I no, didn't... no, I know. I'm just asking a question. Just yes. answer, forget Sorry. about that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, Mendelssohn, who did you have a crush on? Uh, my wife. No. <laughs> so where did you meet your wife? Uh, in uh, college. At a college? At a college. Mm. Did she have a crush on you too? Uh, same as well. <laughs> Really? Okay, how do you know? Uh, very good uh, romantic story and uh, love each other. Mm -hmm. uh, very good relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that's to have a crush on someone. So let's go to the next uh, set of vocabulary exercises. Uh, the first one is to hope something will be true or to wish for good luck. So the expressions oh. are pick up, made for each other, pick up line, uh, keep one's fingers crossed, and well built. Keep one's, keep keep one's, one's fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. That's yeah. right. So when you keep your fingers crossed, it means you when hope something crossed, will be true be or true. you wish that some good luck may occur. Yeah. What's the action? Pardon? Well, what's the action like? Like this. I keep my fingers oh. crossed. Like this? Crossed. Like this. Usually with both hands. I keep my both fingers hands. crossed. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers like, crossed. It, like this? Like this. I don't know if you can see me or not because I do not see this. No, it's, it's like, like a, a gun. Like oh, like your finger can go cross. Two fingers. Oh. oh. Fingers. Yeah, like this. Usually they put it in, in their bag. Okay, they show, they just keep it on their bag because they don't want the others to know that they are keeping their fingers crossed for something. Okay? Yeah, in the movies you can see them a lot. They keep their fingers crossed like this. Okay? So it means that um, they are wishing good luck. Okay? So okay. the next one is a, a phrase used to attract someone romantically. Uh, I think well built, well built. Well built. No. no. Well built. Made for each other. No. Made for each other. No, it's, it's a phrase. It is pick up line. You know pick the pick up, up line. Uh, it, sometimes when you want to attract a girl or a boy when you're talking, uh, you try to use some pickup lines. 
It means that you, for example, invite him to a movie or invite him to a restaurant or ask for her phone number. These are pickup lines, okay? It means that um, you want to just give a, a hint to the person that I, I have a crush on you. Can you give uh, our sentence? Uh... For example, uh, have you ever used the pickup line in order to attract people, to attract someone? That's, that's, that's pickup line. Okay, we will see it in the conversation, don't worry. Okay. Uh, so, to start means... Kick off. Kick off. Kick off. Usually it is used for games, especially soccer game or uh, any kind of ball games. They kick off the game. Okay, kick off means to start. Okay. Okay. The next one is muscular. You know muscular? Yes, it will be well built. Yeah, it's about your body, your physical body. When you're talking about a man, especially about a man, when you, are, you have a well-built body, it means that you are muscular. You are quite athletic. Clear? When the person has, for example, abs like this, when the person has what? Abs on the stomach. The external abs. <clears throat> uh, like what? A, B, S, abs. A, B, S, abs? Yes. I don't know what, what you mean by abs. The mass, the external, the external muscles on the stomach. Oh, that's called six, six abs. Oh, six, six pack, pack, I think. Yeah. Six yeah, packs. I know what she means. Yeah, six pack. I'm not sure if it is called abs or not. So to no, be compatible, to be what is what does it mean to be compatible? Need for, Need for each, each other. other. Okay. Each for example, other. when two people are compatible or are, are suitable for one another we say that they are made for each other okay clear yes yes okay so let's go to the conversation we're going to listen to the conversation to find out how to use those idioms in a dialogue so as i told you two girls are talking about the boy one of them have met in a uh, video store so, let's listen. Sarah, guess what? I have a crush on a boy I met last night. No way! Where on earth did you meet him? We met at the video store. The video store? Well, what's he like? He has brown hair and blue eyes. His name is John. He sounds easy on the eyes. And what else? Well, he's tall and well-built. He sounds hot. Is he nice? Yeah, he's really sweet. Usually I'm a nervous wreck, but he was easy to talk to. Did he use a pickup line? No, he didn't. He kicked off our conversation by asking me for a movie recommendation. He sure asked the right person. You're the biggest movie fan I know. I was glad I had some ideas for him. I think he likes movies too. Sounds like you were made for each other. Did he ask for your number? He did. I hope he calls me soon. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Do you want to listen again? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. One more time. Sarah, guess what? I have a crush on a boy I met last night. No way! Where on earth did you meet him? We met at the video store. The video store? Well, what's he like? He has brown hair and blue eyes. His name is John. He sounds easy on the eyes. And... What else? Well, he's tall and well-built. He sounds hot. Is he nice? Yeah, he's really sweet. 